this sucks. And it's, really it's okay to feel discriminated against because that's what's happening. I want to be treated with the same importance that your non-disabled guests are treated with. It's okay to feel hurt and demoralized and broken because that's the way you're being treated. Well, guess what? I've got more passes because the captive view wasn't working again. If I go out, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I will run into some kind of problem. My name is Ace Ratcliffe and I'm a disability justice advocate. I can't help but laugh because last time I cried. The world is inaccessible. Period, full stop, inarguably so. And it's just so depressing. I started having chronic pain when I was 19 and we didn't know why my back was dislocating. It turns out that it was Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a collagen disorder, and the main symptom that happens is my joints dislocate very, very easily, which is why I'm wearing this contraption today. So many people think that the ADA passed in 1990, and so everybody just assumes, okay, well, you're good, you know, you've got the ADA, so you're covered. But that's not how it works at all. You look around and you so infrequently see disabled people out in public and there's a reason for that. It's because the world is still very inaccessible. My life would probably be easier if I used my wheelchair all the time. Because my joints dislocate as easily as they do, if I run into a barrier or a problem, I, I can't lift my wheelchair up and, and go around it. And so it becomes a choice, essentially, between, well, do I use this wheelchair knowing it's going to make my life easier, or do I not use my wheelchair because the barriers make everything so much harder and more exhausting? I had jaw surgery. Something happened during the surgery where I had hearing loss. So I used the caption devices. So they go in the cup holder and it's got a big bendy arm. I think it was the third time in a row I tried to go to the movies and the captive view device hadn't worked. The tweet that ended up going viral was about coming out of the movie theater and I was so upset. I was almost in tears because it wasn't working again. So. Walked out of the movie theater and they told me, oh, we'll just exchange it real quick and then you can go back in. And I had already missed, you know, 10 minutes of the beginning of the movie and so I was frustrated and walked out and took the video. I saw your video on Twitter. I was like, oh my God, I need to reach out to Ace. Everything we've been working towards for two years is exactly what she's saying right now. I don't want to come back. I want to see a movie. The equipment is really just subpar and it really requires them to uh, announce their disability, to walk to a customer help desk and to say, I am blind, I am hard of hearing. I'm working with a company called ActiveView. They make an app and the app gives you access to either captions for the movie that you're watching or visual descriptions for the blind. I'm listening to the movie much louder at a volume that works for me. My favorite the part reason, is the that they actually have video of someone signing so what's going on on screen for if you're a little kid who's watching a movie and maybe you can't read yet. And they were like, wow, we're in touch with all of these producers and the producers don't understand the need for having captions. They don't necessarily believe there are enough deaf and blind people out there to warrant more work on accessibility. So we need more videos like this so that that they can see that this is actually affecting real people. It's a real catch-22 because no one will go to the movies if they have accessibility needs because it's not provided. And when they don't go to the movies, the industry thinks that there's no one that wants to watch them. One of the things that is really cool is all of these pictures that are here are all of these disabled activists who came before me. They're the reason that we have the ADA. Not only do I want non-disabled people to recognize that this is still a systemic level of discrimination that occurs in every aspect of our life, but I want disabled people to be heard and to be recognized and to realize that it's okay to speak up.